Congratulations to all the new CMA black belts and congratulations on your graduation. I'm so sorry that I couldn't be there with you to enjoy this moment or more importantly, to spend time with you testing and training with you. One of my favorite moments of last year was being on the beach with all of you as you attained your next level of degree. Remember, the journey starts today, planning for your next degree or your next challenge. It is terrific that you have made this challenge happen in this difficult time while we battled the virus, but more importantly, you have battled apathy. You have battled the challenges of finding a reason to train and to continue training. This is going to perhaps be one of the hardest challenges you ever face and congratulations on succeeding in beating it and maintaining your training. Now your job is to be an ambassador for your martial art training, but more importantly for your students who need you more now than ever, because these are challenging times. We're all teaching by Zoom and learning by Zoom. Perhaps we're able to teach in person, but it's not the same. We can't bring that same energy that we get in that hand-to-hand -hand personal contact with our students, but we can if we try. This past year, you have examined yourself and you have found things like resilience, determination, and perseverance. But more importantly, patience. The patience to wait till we can get back to normal and can once again join the fray. But congratulations on making it to this next level and planning for the future. I can remember being a young man and dreaming of going to the Olympic Games and not realizing what sport it might be, but I was able to go many years later. I was able to achieve that dream because it started with one moment of an idea, of inspiration for someone else, for someone else, and from someone else. So my inspiration was watching the US team march in with the flag, and when I saw that flag march into the stadium, I wanted to be the person carrying that flag. When I saw those people standing on the metal stand, I wanted to stand on that metal stand. Not for myself, but for my country and for my sport. Many years later, I was able to do this with Taekwondo and march in the Olympic parade and then meet the president at the White House. And I could not have imagined that at the young age of five or six, I would be 32 before I achieved my dream. But you have been able to achieve the next level of your dream today. So remember, it starts with a moment it starts with an idea, but more importantly, it finishes with you putting one foot in front of the other like you have done this time and continuing your journey. Be an ambassador for yourselves, be an ambassador for CMA, but more importantly, be an ambassador for everything that martial arts represents and that we need more than ever today, more than ever than we've ever needed it before. It is the challenge of continuing when it seems like there's no end in sight. It is the challenge of continuing and being resilient when the moments matter. So I want you to frame this in a different way. I want you not to focus on what the problems were this past year, but I want you to focus on what did you gain this year. As you reflect upon your black belt that you've achieved or your next level, what was the positive aspect of last year? Was it the increased engagement with your family? Was it learning how to pare down your life to the things that only mattered and getting rid of the extraneous? Or was it your challenge to yourself to persevere, be determined and patience? But I look forward to seeing you soon, maybe at the next CMA Black Belt ceremony or maybe at a Maya Super Show. But congratulations to you all. Congratulations to Frank Silverman and Mike Metzger and all his excellent students and instructors. But more importantly, congratulations to all of us who are still here doing what we do, how we do it, and why we do it.